Okay, shall so we hear KO, KO Media? We're here in the SSC Arena with the one, the only, Storm Norman Park. <laughs> How are you, Norman? Good, mate. Um, make weight. Uh, still got to get some more fluids into my body, but um, as usual, I never sleep night before the weigh in. I don't know what the problem is there, but I think this is just. Uh, I keep thinking about the fight and I get excited about the fight, and then because I know I'm underweight too, I was almost sleeping. And then my coach Rodney there, he just starts snoring like a crazy maniac. And then I was going to lift the pillow and <laughs> hit him over the head, but I have to blame somebody for not sleeping. <laughs> nah, I just get excited about the fight and uh, he... No, right. I think it's fair to say, right, that you're not usually a ray of sunshine. Would, would you, you wouldn't disagree. I'm all right, I think not too bad. When I'm sleeping, <laughs> But you're actually right. great for him now. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, because I've got hydrated. Earlier on, I was a little bit... Uh, my legs cramped up because we couldn't get IV you know they tried to get IV but yeah, people yeah. not proper person who I have to do IV they can't do it here in uh, UK so later we finish this off and then for fight we'll be ready yeah. ready to go but like underweight what, what's going on there man you know why I did this because everyone say you're too lazy you can't make the weight and people think I want the 152 pound I lay in the bath a wee bit longer I was on my phone in the bath yeah, yeah. Uh, you know just chatting to some people and then I was like, oh shit, uh, I need to jump out here. And then I just jumped on the scales. Fuck, <laughs> £152. And someone saying go to featherweight. No, man, it's not about killing yourself. I had like, I had easy weight cut for this fight. But, but like, um, this is really positive. Like, you can yeah. do it. Yeah, no and I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to the featherweight. I wouldn't do that because yeah, yeah. I, my, my, my body frame and stuff like this here, if I was fighting featherweight, I would look like a crackhead. I look like crackhead at the minute. Yeah. And... Uh, I want. I want to look. I don't look. Help, uh, I don't look like. I look gump when I fight at, at lightweight, you know. Mm. But when I'm like about 80 kilograms, you know, mm. I look healthier looking. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I had a good weight cut, no problem. Like eight pound or something, nine pound. Mm. For me, this is a walk in the park, easy. No, when I was looking back to your record there, and you know, I'm not a, a big student or a nerd of MMA to say the least. But um, man, you, you've never been stopped, really. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't stop people either. <laughs> They'll always bring that up on me. Yeah, I know, I but won't. You know, but like, yeah, no, I've, I've had a lot of tough fights, but too, I'm a grinder. I think people start to appreciate that now. But mm. um, I know a lot of people don't like the style because I'm a grinder. But we see fight when I fight against the champion Boris. They're like, oh, Boris is going to smash you. But I say, right, after one round, I was like, this is, I like this fight. Mm. When he come aggressive at me, no problem. I let him get tired. Once he get tired, yep. I start to take over. And I win still a close fight, I win two rounds to one, but I, sh I, can, I can stand there no problem and take a dig. Depends who I'm fighting, if someone fights me yeah, aggressive, yeah. I like this because then I fight back aggressive. But for the most part, I'm kind of just going through, you know, going through the moment, you mm. know, and uh, trying to point score, trying to be technical. But um, now that my condition, uh, condition is really good for the fight, I've been trained really good for this mm. fight, you know, and uh, I went away and trained... Uh, mm. I went away to Poland for yeah. for the eight weeks and uh, focused on getting my weight to try and you know to put the time in and stop fucking about you know. I mean, you look like a really good version of Norman Park here in front of me. I look like you know you, you feel even you look better. Fresh, but you look fresh. I feel even better. Don't look good, but feel better. <laughs> so, so this is going to be this is going to be, and you're kind of I don't want to say laughing and joking like but I mean this this is a big important fight, isn't it? One hundred percent. I know there's a change the opponent there yeah. the last week. Uh, I was prepared to fight this boy who's more technical fighter. He likes to circle around the cage and make you come to him and look to kind of point score you. Mm. This is this Marian Shukowski, but the Polish Zombie uh, is a good fight too because he comes forward a wee bit more. But um, and I respect him. I got you know I got nothing against him to be honest. Mm. I don't want to start talking smack to him, but he starts talking smack a wee bit, <laughs> and I wait for him at the weigh-ins to see if he goes to push me. But yeah. he not because he knows this is machine right here and I'm going to be on his face for five rounds. Not one round, not two rounds, and one thing, always one thing, if ever get tired, I never quit, you know? I've been tired many times in fights like uh, Brazil. Yeah. Two times I fight Brazil. One time I got very tired after the run round and I say, fuck, a no chance I'm going to give up here. I'm going to keep going till I end, mm -hmm. and I do that. That's me, that's my style. And well, your record speaks for itself, you never did. Yeah, so it's going to be a good fight, but uh, I'm prepared for this fight and I I believe I'm going to win this fight and get the belt. 
get what I deserve, that bell right there, that bell's mine. It's going to be very hard for him to stop me to get this. Go for it, I'll lift it up. This belt, it's a nice belt. Look at that belt. Yeah. It's a nice, it's a nice belt. It feels heavy. Feel it's heavy. It's right, fucking heavy. It's, it's heavy true. belt. You know, it's not like, yeah. It's not like a, it's not like just an old, fucking made up thing. There's a lot of times mm. under this belt. So. Uh, and this is, and, and to be fair, the KSW belts are real belts, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, and once you defend it like two, three mm. times, you get to keep the belt. I mean, they don't make up belts every second fight because someone is crying in the cornflakes they don't have a title fight. <laughs> <laughs> like other well, promotions. Yeah, I see, I see, I know how that is, but yeah. fuck that, I just focus on this. Yeah, this, yeah, is, this is my fight here, tomorrow night. I'm ready to go. My son's coming to watch the fight for first time. Fantastic. First time they, they uh, him and his mum just arrived there. So are, are they going to be in the front? They're going to be there. Maybe I don't know if he's going to be for the whole show, but he will come. Uh, he will come. Uh, maybe like in between. Is he out here somewhere? No, he's not here oh, yet. The they're at the hotel. They right. just come. Oh, off you want to get back? That's they, okay. They just, no, no, they just come out the, off the airplane, but they're just getting settled in. But it'll be the first time he's been to my fight. So I says, this is it. This I'll is keep the fuck, fucking time. This too. is the fucking time to shut everyone up and go and get the belt. What can they say now about this here? And not miss weight. And I go out tomorrow and put on a good, strong fight. They can't say nothing about me anymore. And if I finish someone, what if I finish them? They're still going to say something. After that, people's always going to say something. But end of the day, think about yourself and just focus on yourself. No, never worry. Pay for your family. It's your, you're going to pay for what your wins. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm coming. I'm coming for the belt. This is what I trained hard for this fight. More, like when when I was going into the UFC, looking to go to the UFC. I train like this when I want to get to the UFC. After UFC, I've not much. I did train, but not as much like food, diet, and stuff like this here. But um, now I put the time, and you can see how my weight is. Yeah. Um, I know you're you're in great shape. Ready to go, ready to rock. So, so. Listen, Norman, sir, you're, you're the Marathon Media Scrum there. I don't know what you're talking about for half an hour, but I don't do half hours. Them Polish, you know, they ask me a lot of questions. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see that you're in good shape and uh, to wish you well. And uh, I'm actually really looking forward to this now. And, and uh, it's going to be a good show, as you you know you know KSW. Oh, KSW is amazing. Why you did they jumped on it for the, two days when I heard it was on? Yeah, yeah. the production's very very good. Everyone who's never been to KSW, the productions. Are Probably, I would say the best production of mm. any any promotion I've ever fought on. 100% best production, and uh, yeah, time. I was going to say, well, I'm, I'm, if I catch him, I'll put the hammer in Martin and come back to Ireland again. Yeah, well, Belfast, that's, that's maybe, it, exactly. That's why I've got my mind. You know, I need to get this first, so never look too far ahead. But get this belt, and then I can, you know, the ball will you be. You have the leverage then. There'll yeah, be yeah, better yeah. leverage, so I can say to him, right, come, give me a fight in Belfast. Mm. Not Dublin, like Dublin. I know you can class that as home. Come fight, but come to Belfast because I know, like, oh, I would there's, like issues, there's issues down in, in like, Dublin anyway. We know, as we uh, know, yeah, yeah, know. I know, I know that, but I'd like to see a lot of people if it did come, a lot of support from there come to the fight because mm. all Polish people will be there, you know. Yeah, like, just think, just think if uh, uh, people back home support MMA the, the way these guys do. Look, mm. they, they go all over the world and follow this promotion and it's all Polish, 80% Polish and the three arena was 80% yeah, Polish. All you had to say was, I think Chris Fields was saying, what's going on here? My opponent is getting cheered four times as much yeah. as I am. When I fought Gamrot, I come out yeah. and they're like, you know, and then he come out way... I wasn't going to mention the G word, I wasn't going to mention it, but you both know. No. May, may, maybe you finished what was started in Ireland with, with that lad. Maybe. I don't Who know knows? what's wrong with him, like I, I'm not even thinking about him because he stepped off to the side of it for a bit, but... This is for the belt here, me and uh, the Polish Zombie. Yeah. The Polish Zombie is who yeah, yeah. I'm focused on. Yeah. And you are focused. I mean, is this, is this every time? I don't talk to him in, in most fights now, but you well, sound yeah, yeah. really only, focused only to me. We only spoke a couple of this times. This means a lot. We only spoke a couple of times. Yeah. I'm just ready to go. That's it. Yeah. Everything's been done. There's not nothing been left unturned. No stone unturned. So this is not, as my coach says, nothing else to do but do it. Yeah. You know? Go back and sleep. Go on. Anyway, no, <laughs> best of luck tomorrow. And thanks, thanks for having your word after Cheers, the Thank you very much. Thanks, Maybe thanks for having me. Right, done. <laughs>